Hi everyone, I welcome you all in the discussion of the paper NSE JS 2019-20. I am here with the chemistry section of this paper, paper code 52. This paper includes total 20 questions of chemistry and the very first question that is here is question number 61. Now let's study this question. 4 gram of mixture of calcium carbonate and sand is treated with excess of HCl and 0 0.880 gram of carbon dioxide is produced. What is the percentage of calcium carbonate in the original mixture? In this case, very important thing is given that there is excess of HCl. First thing, calcium carbonate and sand is reacting here and the amount of that mixture is 4 gram. Now what you need to find out? You need to find out the percentage of calcium carbonate in the original mixture. Total mass of the mixture is 4 gram but that is not absolutely calcium carbonate. Some part is sand, some part is calcium carbonate. Now first of all we need to just think that which substance is reacting with HCl? Definitely calcium carbonate, sand will not react. So let's focus on the chemical reaction of calcium carbonate with HCl. When these two react, what will be produced? There would be the formation of calcium chloride. Along with that, there is the formation of water. And definitely, when carbonate react with acid, here will be formation of carbon dioxide, right? So as per the question, the amount of carbon dioxide produced here is 0 0.880 gram. It means this is the mass of carbon dioxide produced here. Now with the help of this reaction, we will solve this question to find out the percentage of calcium carbonate in the mixture of sand and calcium carbonate, right? So if you look at the amount of carbon dioxide. So here it is 0 0.880 gram and if you just want to change it in mole, so simply we can say number of moles of CO2. These would be its given mass by molar mass. What is the molar mass of carbon dioxide? 44 gram per mole. And on the basis of this, it becomes 0 0.02 moles. So this is the number of moles of carbon dioxide produced. On the basis of this, if you compare with the help of reaction, if you look at here, in this chemical reaction, one mole of CO2 is produced when one mole of calcium carbonate is reacting with two moles of HCl. HCl is in excess. So we are just comparing calcium carbonate and carbon dioxide. So very simple to compare here. 0 0.02 moles of CO2 are produced by 0 0.02 moles of calcium carbonate because one mole of carbon dioxide produced by one mole of calcium carbonate that's why so on the basis of this you have obtained moles of calcium carbonate 0 0.02 so it's quite simple to find out the amount or the mass of calcium carbonate moles multiplied by its molar mass molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100 gram per mole just calculate using the atomic masses of calcium carbon and oxygen right so multiply it by 100 and you will get here 2 gram of calcium carbonate so total mass of mixture was 4 gram 2 gram is calcium carbonate so very simple to find out the percentage let me check here what would be the percentage of calcium carbonate in the mixture it would be mass of calcium carbonate divided by the total mass of the mixture multiplied by 100 50 percent it will and if it is 50 percent you can easily choose the correct answer 
for this question. Have a look on the options. Here in the option B, if you look at, you will see that the correct answer is given here. So what is the correct answer? That is option B. I hope it is clear. Now the turn is for the next question. Have a look on question number 62. In this question, you can clearly see that benzene is there. It is reacting with chlorine to give you gamexene. Let's read this question. Gamexene insecticide powder is prepared by the reaction given in the adjacent box. I have already told you, right? If 78 gram benzene when reacted with 106.5 gram of chlorine, how much gamexene would be formed? Once again, the question is based on stoichiometry and yes, in this case, we have a number of things to understand. First is, you have 78 gram of benzene that is reacting with 106.5 gram of chlorine. Reactants we have and as per this reaction, if you look at 1 mole of benzene is reacting with 3 mole of chlorine. So whenever you have 1 mole of benzene and chlorine is going to react with it to give you gamexene, then definitely the required moles of chlorine would be 3 mole. Okay. On the basis of this, we will identify limiting reagent. Right. Limiting reagent is that substance which limits the reaction, which determines the amount of the product formed here. So first of all, we need to identify whether benzene is the limiting reagent or chlorine is the limiting reagent. How? Let's solve. See, in this case, first of all, we will check the amount of benzene. So, in terms of moles, I am just considering here, moles of benzene, in this case, it is given amount, 78 gram, benzene is there and the molar mass of benzene is 78 gram per mole. So, just divide it by 78, given mass by molar mass. So, the number of moles of benzene is just 1 mole. Now, the next thing in this case is moles of chlorine. How many moles of chlorine are present there? Amount of chlorine is given, given mass divided by the molar mass of chlorine that is 71 gram per mole. With the help of its atomic mass, you can find out 71 gram per mole. So, the number of moles of chlorine would be 1.5 mole. We identified moles of chlorine, we identified moles of benzene. On the basis of the reaction, we can simply say that given reaction in which gamexene is formed, one mole of benzene is reacting with 3 moles of chlorine. Now, so available moles of chlorine are just 1.5 moles, while required amount of moles of chlorine 3 moles. So, what is the limiting reagent? What is limiting the reaction? Definitely chlorine because required amount is more 3, available amount is 1.5. Very simple. So, in this case, the limiting reagent, I will write the complete word, re limiting reagent is chlorine. And limiting reagent always determines the amount of the product formed. I have already told you. So, on the basis of this, we can find out. See, we know that 3 moles of chlorine are forming 1 mole of gamexene. Right? So, if you have only 1.5 
moles of chlorine then definitely 0.5 moles of gamexene would be formed. Now amount you need to find out let us find out the amount with the help of moles. its moles multiplied by the molar mass of gamma xe. The formula is C6, H6, Cl6. Just find out its molar mass is 291 gram per mole. Just multiply and if you multiply you will find it is 145.5 gram. So, this would be the amount of product formed, gamma xe formed. Let us check the correct answer of this particular question where it is given? Yes, it is given here in the form of option C, this one and now the answer would be option C. I hope this question is also clear to you. Now, the turn is for question number 63. Which of the following polymeric material will be ideal for remolding? Have a look on the given options. Remolding can be done for those plastics which are thermoplastic in nature, which can be molded by heating. And in this case, if you look at polythene is thermoplastic, but melamine is thermosetting plastic. So, option is not there. Further, polyvinyl chloride and polythene, yes, these two are those plastics which are thermoplastics, right? So, on the basis of this, the correct answer for this particular question is option B. While if I talk about bakelite that is thermosetting, on the basis of this we can neglect C and D, right? So, the correct answer for this particular question is option B. I hope it is clear. Now, the turn is for the next question, question number 64.